The Ryko X117R engine protection kit for the Mitsubishi Triton MR and Pajero Sport QF comes complete with the Ryko Z980K series fuel water separator and RCC 351 series catch can, as well as specifically molded hoses, brackets, fuel lines and hose clamps, all designed for a neat install that looks like it could have come this way from the factory. As always, we recommend that the kit is installed by a qualified mechanic with the procedures shown in this instructional video. Start by fitting the fuel mounting bracket within the engine bay. Start by unclipping all of the OEM fuel filter Deutsch connectors from the OEM fuel filter bracket and remove the OEM fuel filter housing from the OEM fuel filter bracket by lifting it up out of its slot. Unscrew these two bolts and put them in a safe place as you'll be using them to fit the bracket. Unscrew this bolt and place it with the other two. Next, have a rag ready to catch any spilt fuel and remove the OEM fuel supply hose and hose clamps. With that, we can now mount the Ryko fuel mounting bracket using the same mounting points and bolts from the OEM bracket we just removed. Half screw in two of the bolts into the base mounting points, just enough to allow the Ryko fuel mounting bracket to slide in under the bolt heads. Screw in the remaining bolts saved from the previous steps into the firewall mounting point, then install the supplied M6 flange nut onto the firewall stud. From there, you can fully tighten the rest of the bolts. Next, install the OEM fuel filter housing by passing the first female OEM Deutsch connector through this opening and mount the OEM fuel filter housing onto its mounting slot. Clip the first female OEM Deutsch connector onto the slot like so, and then connect the first male and female OEM Deutsch connectors. With the fuel filter bracket installed, it's time to get to work fitting the Ryko fuel water separator. First up, select the supplied quick connectors from the kit that fit the Ryko fuel water separator head and locate the blanking plugs supplied with the fuel water separator. Install them to the fuel separator like so, ensuring they're nice and tight. We recommend holding the filter head in a vise while tightening everything up to make things just that little bit easier. Next, install the two supplied elbow connectors onto one end of both supplied fuel hoses and install four of the supplied fuel hose clamps onto each end of the fuel hoses without tightening them. Using the M10 bolts and washers supplied in the Ryko kit, attach the Ryko fuel water separator to the Ryko fuel mounting bracket like so. Next, grab the longer Ryko fuel hose and install the open end of the hose onto the vehicle's fuel tank supply pipe and tighten it up with one of the supplied hose clamps. Route the hose around the front of the OE fuel filter housing and along the other side of the fuel filter assembly and connect the elbow connector to the Ryko fuel water separator's inlet quick connector. You'll know you've done it correctly if you hear a click noise. Next, find the shorter Ryko fuel hose and install the open end of the hose onto the inlet port of OEM fuel filter housing. Tighten it with another one of the supplied hose clamps and route the hose like so. Connect the elbow connector to the Ryko fuel water separator's outlet quick connector, hearing out for the same click. Make sure all of the hose clamps are secure and then it's time to prime the fuel system. This step must take place before the engine is started. Locate the priming button on top of the factory fuel filter and prime the fuel system by pumping the button repeatedly until it's hard to press. Once you can no longer depress the priming button, turn on the engine. With the engine running, check for fuel leaks on all the newly installed equipment. Now that the fuel water separator is sorted, we can move on to fitting the Ryko catch can. As with the fuel water separator, we'll need to start by fitting the catch can bracket into the engine bay. Begin by removing the plastic engine cover and the OEM PCV hose. Next, remove the bolt behind the ABS module and hold onto it as you'll need to screw it back in later. Then, remove the rear airbox mounting bolt and washer. When fitting the Ryko catch can bracket, you'll need to maneuver the bracket around various engine components. Take the supplied M6 bolt, M6 spring washer and M6 washer and screw them into the thread behind the airbox. Screw the supplied M6 flange nut onto the stud under the brake pipes and screw the OEM bolt from earlier into the thread behind the ABS module. With the bracket installed, we can fit up the Ryko catch can. Next, grab this Ryko PCV hose and install the small end onto the engine PCV port, tightening with one of the supplied 25mm hose clamps. Install the other end of the Ryko PCV hose onto the lower inlet port of the Ryko catch can and tighten it with a supplied 29mm hose clamp. 
Now, grab the other Ryko PCV hose and install the larger end onto the upper outlet port of the Ryko catch can, tightening with the other supplied 29mm hose clamp. Install the other end of the PCV hose onto the air intake PCV port and tighten with the other supplied 25mm hose clamp like so. To install the drain hose, remove the drain plug from the bottom of the catch can, take out the rubber seal from the plug and refit. Install the drain hose and secure it with the supplied spring clamp. Insert the hose drain tap to the other end and use the zip ties to secure the hose. To drain, have a drain pan or bottle ready and pull back the red section until all oil has drained out. 